folks, welcome back to The Drive. Philippe here, and I've got a mega update for you. Now, for those of you who are following me on Facebook or might have seen it on my blog or somewhere else, you guys will know what this is about. But for the rest of you who only follow me on uh, The Drive, by the way, I highly recommend you check out my Instagram, at ZCarFeva, uh, I'll, I'll link it below. You guys would know all about this, but anyways, I bought a new car back in December. It is now June, uh, July, June. So yes, I have been holding out on you guys for six months, but with good reason. Uh, I purchased the car back in December, 10 days before Christmas. It was not a Christmas gift to myself. I'm not making a million dollars you know, a week on YouTube or something. It was, I needed a daily driver that wasn't 30 years old. I wanted something sporty. Hey dude. Check it out, he's checking out the Z. <laughs> uh, and I just wanted to be able to get something a little bit newer. I was watching this 370Z for months on Facebook and it came down to a price that I felt like it was a good deal and I snatched it up. Uh, it's a 2010 Nissan 370Z. Uh, it's the 40th anniversary model, so there's only 1,002 or 1,012 of these made. This is number 759. Uh, let's see, I bought it from a fellow in New York. He brought it to a Nissan dealership. Shout out to County Line Nissan in Middlebury, Connecticut. Speak to my buddy Quinn Bannon. He will hook you up, ladies and gentlemen. I get all of my OEM parts. I know this is shameless plug. I don't really care. Quinn is awesome. They will take care of you. Um, he did my inspection for me. He recommended someone that I could pass my smog test with in Connecticut. And any kind of OEM parts, they are the people to buy it from. You cannot get a better price than the folks at County Line Nissan. Anyways, shameless self plugs put aside. I absolutely love the car. I bought it with 30, it, it crossed 32,000 miles on the way to my house. It now has 35,700, give or take. So from December, up until April, late April, I was in school. I was finishing up my master's degree. Essentially, the car sat from uh, April or from December until April. So the car didn't get driven much. You know, when I came home, I would thrash on it, park it, and go back to school. Basically, shame on me, but hey, you know, I was home for two or three days. It's definitely a lot throatier than the Z31. Um, it's smoother, I enjoy it. It's got the whole nine yards for the comfort stuff. When I say that, what I mean is it's got heated seats, it's got leather with the Alcantara suede inserts. Um, it has auto uh, sync rev match. So basically, when I downshift, you'll hear it automatically blur, uh, blip the throttle for me so that when I go down a gear, it's already perfect and all set. Now, for some of you who are like, oh, well, the, you know, that's for pussies. You need to learn how to how to, how to shift down and, and be able to uh, do this with your foot and be able to double tap with your heel and heel toe and all this. Well, calm down. You can turn it off, okay? It's, you press a button, it's off. You can drive it like you drove your car in the 70s. So for those of you who are wondering, hey, does this mean you're going to sell the Z31 right now? Absolutely not. That Z31 will never be sold. You can offer me a million dollars for it, which honestly would be freaking stupid to do so, but I will never sell that car. It's the car that brought uh, myself and my future potential wife together, so that's not gonna happen. As life would have it, the Z31 broke down the day after I brought home the 370Z. So I was at an intersection, literally like a mile and a half from my house, at the bottom of a hill. I blipped the throttle. I start to go through the intersection and boom, it turned out to be a busted uh, driver's side rear axle. Uh, I don't really know how I sheared an axle on a fairly stock Z31, given that those axles are known to be pretty, pretty bulletproof. So anyways, that took me a couple of months to fix. They no longer make remanufactured axles for the Z31. But happily, I'm happy to say that in the last week or two, I've resolved it. The car is running and driving again. I need to be able to get it to a transmission shop. I'm just not very happy with how that transmission is acting up right now. And to be honest, there's a couple other things like the, the rear main seal that I'd like to get uh, taken care of. And I have no problem paying a shop to do something of that caliber. 
I'd rather pay someone, get the work warranty, and get it done the right way. So you might be thinking, what are your plans for this newly acquired Z? To be honest, as much as I don't want to say it, the truth of the matter is that this 370Z is going to be my daily, daily driver for at least probably the next year or two. I see the value in driving something that you enjoy day in and day out. Will I probably get a beater one day? Yeah, probably, but for now I'm gonna drive the living piss out of this thing. I personally drive about an hour a day. So if you multiply that over your lifetime, over the working week, over the working month, over the working year, you're spending a whole lot of time in your car. And I know for a fact that my one hour commute total per day is, is peanuts compared to what some of you guys are doing. So the way I look at it is, if I have to be spending all this time in a car driving, why not drive something that I truly enjoy? Now, does this mean that I'm gonna get a couple more scratches and maybe a door ding here and there? Yeah, likely I will. Actually, I just put a scratch in it last night and I was pissed. But you know what? These cars are meant to be driven, not to be garaged. And one day when I don't need to daily drive the car anymore, I'll respray it if necessary. I'll do all of the things to make it look brand new. I'm not gonna modify the car much. I'm happy with the way the car is now. I don't plan on doing too many modifications. And one day when I wanna make it a show car, I'll make it a show car. But for now, I'm just gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna enjoy the drive and uh, day by day. Thank you folks. Let me know what you think in the comments below.